Today begins a new series on the channel that I'm calling the Fitness Reboot. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips, three habits that are actually going to help you regain your fitness if it's something that you lost through the months of March through May 2020. For those new to the channel, I'm Austin with Training Tall and I am six foot eight, but Training Tall is all about me helping you get the tips and strategies to help you take your fitness and health above the average, no matter how tall you are. And I wanna start things off by saying if you're someone who fell off the wagon as far as keeping track of their fitness and healthy habits over the course of March through May 2020, that you're not alone and that it's not the end of the world. We have to keep in mind that we've got our whole lives to figure things out and life is a roller coaster of the ups and downs. Just know that you're not a bad person and you can always get back to where you were and continue to push forward to, towards new goals that are gonna make you a better you. It's never too late to start again, but if we're starting things over again, we can't just necessarily jump back into where we were before. We need to be tactical, strategical, as far as building our way back towards where we were and pushing forward towards new goals for ourselves. And no matter what sort of fitness program someone is pushing or some sort of whatever diet or crazy fad out there, we know that the most important thing when it comes to you gaining fitness, because we're thinking long term, right? We're thinking from now, till the day we die, we're thinking the rest of our lives, we have to create consistent and sustainable habits. We know that living a healthy lifestyle isn't just about exercise, but it's about taking care of our bodies inside and out, outside of our workouts as well. And the first phase of the fitness reboot, the first phase of getting to our goals is to give ourselves some simple yet effective habits that we can start doing every single day. And I've got three simple yet effective habits for you. And the first one I am calling the wake up. And there's three sub parts that make up the wake up. First things first is it's time to start setting your alarm for every morning. If you're someone who's been able to stay employed and stay with your regular work schedule, then you probably already are doing this. But if you're someone who has been unemployed or has just been you know, adjusting to uh, this whole new lifestyle of stuff, it's time to start waking up consistently each and every morning. It's a very simple yet very effective way to set the tone for the day, giving yourself that good wake up time, setting aside you know six to seven hours or up to eight hours of sleep the night before, but getting up, getting out of bed, and getting the day started. The second subpart to the wake up is one big old fat glass of water. That's right, you're out of bed, you're in the kitchen, and you grab the big cup of water. Getting yourself hydrated first thing in the morning is so important because you just spent six to eight hours lying in bed, just breathing without any sort of liquids in your body whatsoever. Your body is dehydrated first thing in the morning and the best thing you can do is just suck down a big old glass of water. And the third sub part that's gonna make the wake up the best start to your day ever is three minutes of mobility. And it's in the form of just two exercises. The first one, you do 90 seconds of bend over to chest opener. It's very simple, yet so effective. It feels so freaking good. You just take your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to very slowly bend your body over, feeling that hamstring stretch and then squeezing through the backs of your hamstrings, lifting your body up, taking your arms up at about 90 degrees, elbows a little bit lower than your shoulders, bringing those elbows back behind you to open up your chest and shoulders, and then collapse forward once again, bend over to chest opener, and just repeat that motion for 90 seconds. Then the second exercise is 90 seconds of the slow march. Now this one takes a little bit of coordination. You start with your left arm up, overhead, your right arm down and back, your right leg up as straight as you can, and then you switch the arms, switch the leg, going for reach in the arms and reach in the leg. And this is how you get your whole body woken up and ready for the day in just three minutes. It's such a short amount of time, but you've got the alarm to get you up. You're chugging down the water in just three minutes of mobility. That will, if you can just do that every day, that is already going to be kickstarting you in the right direction. The wake up is what it's all about. Because you're not only doing your body good inside and out, but you are setting the tone for the day. You have purposely decided to do these things and that just already gets you in the mindset of just attacking the day to bring your best. The second key fitness reboot habit is the 10K a day. And I'm talking about taking a big walk every day. And I know 
you can walk. I know you can figure out a way to do so, to get your steps in. 10,000 steps a day is the goal, but at least a 30 minute walk. 30 minutes plus getting outside, whether that's with an audiobook or a new album or just enjoying the sounds of the outside or maybe you've got a significant other that you wanna go walk with. Maybe you got kids, maybe you got a dog and you wanna go out on a walk with them, but just something that's going to get you moving because movement and activity, that is most important. And again, this first part of this phase, this is just about getting into the habit of doing. It's not necessarily what you're doing, it's just the doing aspect. And walking is such a great activity, it's super underrated. 10K a day is the goal. So you just gotta get yourself up and walking at some point, whether that's right after your the wake up mobility, or maybe it's during your lunch break, or maybe it's in the evening when it gets cool out. Some point during the day, getting out and walking intentionally, purposefully, doesn't need to be fast. Just get out and get moving, get your steps in. And at this point, before you click off, I want you to ask yourself, doesn't that sound reasonable so far? Couple minutes of mobility, getting up with purpose, and going on a walk. Like that's all we're asking so far. But the third and final fitness reboot habit is the Daily Dozen. And what it is, is it's an app that you can get on your phone and it's from nutritionfacts.org, nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing you the science on the healthiest ways to live. This app is based off of the best-selling book, How Not to Die, which teaches you how to eat and how not to die from making bad food choices. This app gives you a great little checklist of the healthiest foods that you can put in your body each day. And if you can just check off the boxes, making sure that you're hitting those healthy foods, well, bingo, no matter what your diet is, if you're hitting those healthy foods, you are on the right track. This app is such a great way to help you start making healthier food choices day to day. And we're not talking about drastic changes. It's just the week one of the fitness reboot. We're just talking about simple stuff. Just hit the check boxes, bingo. But guys, it's just so easy to get overwhelmed with the process of getting back to where, we, where you were before. You have to stop being so hard on yourself if you really fell off the wagon. You gotta stop it. You've got your whole life ahead of you. We've got plenty of time to get back, but we need to be smart. And I hope that these three things can get you started on the right track. Get up with an alarm. Drink a big glass of water. Get in just a couple minutes of mobility to stretch out your body and get ready for the day. Get out and get in a walk. 10,000 steps a day is the goal, but at least 30 minutes of walking and work through that super simple daily dozen checklist to the best of your ability. And I promise if you can do these things consistently day to day to day, you are gonna be on such the right track towards getting to where you wanna be. But if we can get the habits going now, it's gonna make it when we get into more fitness related stuff happen more easier Lee, That was bad grammar. Don't start killing yourself with crazy workouts just yet. Just start getting in some good healthy habits and we will get there together, I promise. And if you've been having any sort of real struggles over these last couple months, I wanna know about them down in the comments below. I wanna work with you to help you get back on track towards your goals. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think in the comments as well. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you hated it, you think I'm crazy, if you think the only way to make gains is to go crazy hard, and if you're not going hard every day doing the craziest stuff, then you might as well do nothing, then leave a dislike. But I am here to give you the real advice that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. We just gotta take things one step at a time. The fitness reboot has begun. I will see you in the next video.